This plugin turns OBS into StreamYard or EVMAX. Literally, I mean like something like this, if you know what I mean. Check this out. This is my intro. See, see the transition? This is my intro scene or my timer scene, okay? Now I'm gonna go transition to my main camera. You see that transition? Then I'm gonna go to camera two. Did you see that? I'm gonna go to camera three. Did you see that? But wait. Camera one combined with camera two or camera three, whatever. Did you see that? Just look at that. You see that transition, right? Looks like StreamYard, right? And then look at this. This one is even more interesting. So we're coming from here to here. Oh my God. This is really, really good. Did you see that? Boom. You see how subtle it is? And nice. All right. And then look at this. If you have like, you want to share your screen and then you have like two people on screen. This is something you cannot do in OBS, but guess what? I'm doing it in OBS. Look at that. Huh? Nice, huh? Nice, huh? Look at this. Now, let me show you another one. Look at that. I have three people on screen. I got, you know, I'm the host and I got two guests on screen. Look at this. And I'm sharing my screen. Right? Or we're coming from having conversation. Two people on screen. We go to box. And then I want to switch to sharing my screen. Look at that. Or we come from this. Then I want to go straight to sharing my screen with the third, a second guest. Look at that. You see how smooth that is? Right? You see that transition? This is something that we usually have in paid uh, applications like EVMAX, StreamYard, uh, Restream, I think it has it. Right? Or this browser-based uh, streaming software. But in today's video, I'm going to show you a plugin that I'm using called Move, Move, Move plugin. Okay, it's called the Move plugin. And I'm super excited because as you can see, it can turn OBS into a, I don't know, man. It's just a cool streaming software that's not just like static, just cut and fade transitions. And this is what was missing in OBS to make it look like, make it, you know, change look like any other paid streaming software. I feel like OBS is becoming better and better. And again, without taking much time, I'm going to show you the plugin, how to get it. And I'm going to show you how I set up these scenes and how to make it work. And of course, this is just the beginning. This is nothing compared to what this plugin can actually do. And again, if you're interested, I want you to leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to go deeper and deeper and show you some of the coolest things you can actually do with this move transition. So let's not take much time. Let's get into it. Let's go. All right, guys, my name is Sam. You're watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So I'm not going to take much time. Actually, this video is going to be super quick. First, I'm going to show you how to get the move transition. Kudos to Nari. As you can see, I was watching some of his videos uh, about the move transition. So this guy is uh, amazing. He knows he understands this move transition uh, plugin for sure. Um, but let's go to uh, Google and then type in move transition OBS. The first one is going to show up here. Uh, you can just go to this one. By the way, I'm just going to leave a link down below as well. If you want to click to link and to the link and it's going to take you to this page. And this is where it is. It's move 3.0.2. This is the version that I'm using right now. Maybe it's going to change the version. You know, he may, he may get updated. But all you got to do is you got to go here where it says download. And uh, if you're on Windows, Mac, depending on which operating system you're using or Linux, just got to go here. I'm on Windows. So you got you go here to move transition blah, blah 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 windows installer and then just click download once you have it downloaded it's gonna show up in your download folder and it's gonna look like this all you gotta do uh it's gonna be zipped sorry this is the folder you're gonna get you wanna right click to it and then go to extract or oh, once it's unzipped it's gonna look like this just open it click to it and then just double click and hit install and then give give all the permissions one thing that I want to show you, mine is already installed, uh, but what it's going to do, uh, you know, it may give you um, a prompt to see, like, to approve if Windows trusts it or not. 
so make sure you hit trust or run anyway that's the key once you have it installed um you know just follow the steps it's gonna be easy to install okay it's not gonna be super complicated and once you have it installed it's gonna show up in obs so basically what you gotta do is you're gonna go here uh, into obs and you're gonna go here under uh, scene transitions usually the first time you're gonna you're gonna click on this button what you're gonna get is gonna be this cut and fade transition okay so what you need to do because the first time you're not gonna see it or what you need to do you need to go here on the plus sign here right and hit plus and then you're gonna see move transition is gonna show up here okay after installing it of course you have to restart obs if you're running obs you want to make sure you restart it it's gonna show up here uh, with other transitions you can actually use so it's gonna once you have it you see it just click on it uh because i already have it once you click on it you can rename it or just keep it the name it could stay move and then it's gonna show up here and all you gotta do is you want to make sure you choose it okay so now once you have it you're gonna see you have some settings before we get into um you know me showing you how the whole thing works once you have it selected you can go to these three dots and go to properties here and then basically these are options you can actually use to kind of change and tweak some of the movements you know like at some point you see you have seen kind of flying from the left or from the right but basically the key things that you need to know about you have what they call matched items so if you they say um i'm coming from scene a to scene b but in scene a i had maybe a camera in scene b i still have that camera right maybe i added a screen right so matched items means that because i have the camera in both scenes and i'm transitioning uh basically you're gonna choose uh the options to kind of tweak how the you know the movements that are going to be in my opinion if you're a beginner the default settings do look really really good all right the only thing that i i changed here I where it says match transitions i made sure the transition was set to none because i want to have the background um that's not blank okay i'm gonna show you how, why it's important in a minute and also like appearing items they say if you're coming from scene a and go to scene b and there's a new item that's going to appear in that scene so basically you're just gonna choose how it's going to behave and then disappearing items if something was in scene a and, and in scene b it's not there so it's gonna has to disappear so you're gonna choose that as well so you have so many options again i'm not gonna go get into all these things uh in this video but we're gonna make another video where i'm gonna go deeper and create some cool stuff i will encourage you to kind of go ahead and play with these settings but the actual basic settings actually do still good and they're gonna give you that effect that you get from StreamYard or even Max or other cool uh, streaming software. All right. So once you're done, really just go through this and play with them. But in my opinion, you don't have to change much. Just just click OK. So now it should be ready to be used. Okay. So um, as you can see, I have created some scenes. If you have some overlays already set, it may look weird. So you have to be extra careful. That's where I'm probably gonna have to make another video. Because as you can see, this is a, you know, a scene where I have like overlays. But if I switch from this scene to this one, as you can see, it's still amazing, but it's not wow, right? So that's something they have to be aware of. So you can see, you know, it's not bad. It's still cool. It looks cool. Like coming from here to something like this, you can see that it still looks amazing, right? Like the movements and everything, but there's that little-ish weird kind of look because of the background is, is uh black and you know it's just there's just a little something that i don't like about it but it still looks good it's better than just cutting like a dry cut however where it actually shines is when you have like uh scenes where you just have cameras uh and of course i added a background at the top because let me show you what i mean so i have camera one this is my main camera if i come from this camera to camera two you can see how it's coming in and the other one is disappearing and um if i remove this background go to camera two because i had this uh, overlay background kind of thing so if i move from camera one to camera two you can see the background is just blank so that's something that you uh i think it doesn't look that wow even though like the movements are awesome but if you want to look professional 
you want to make sure you have something in the background so that's where having this zero background that i added it's just an overlay background that it's gonna it makes the whole thing really looks good let me just go ahead and enable it all right so coming from here to here you can see it looks awesome now i got camera three and then where it gets juicier is if you have now to uh let's say you have a guest on your uh, on your stream now you can have like this kind of layout so coming from camera two you can see i'm switching from camera two to both of me like me and this guy or camera main camera you see like how i transition it's just amazing right now coming from here this is my favorite where it actually coming from like kind of full to box kind of look again all these things these are just my cameras that just cropped and then make it look the way i want <clears throat> and of course you can even like have some uh probably in, in my next video you can even have like uh some kind of thick uh corners and rounds and um like round corners and stuff like that i mean like even the way it looks right now like even if i have like sharp corners and everything you can see that it looks good coming from here to here these are things i usually get uh, in streamyard okay also like going from this to something like this you can see like here i added just like like a screen capture of my other screen right so if i was like sharing a screen you know let's say i go to google and i'm doing like a demo i have someone as a guest and we're kind of browsing or you know kind of reacting to a video you can see that this thing becomes like really really good right it looks really really good and if i want to transition again boom coming from here maybe i want to have my third my second guest on boom see like that subtle kind of movement right like coming from just me and this guy and then we add another person and then the whole thing adjusts itself like it's just wow i really love it so another thing that i will actually suggest you uh add or you uh adjust you want to go you want to make sure you go to duration here and then um like right now i put a 800 uh by default it's gonna be uh, around 300 if i do that you can see that it's kind of fast it's not that smooth it's not it's not it's not cute you know you can see that it's fast so you want to make sure i put a 800 for me it looks really good at 800 but you can choose the uh, duration that works with you uh, depending on the type of show that you're running even like if i put a 900 let's see what it looks like you can see like even 900 is not bad right coming from here to here and then to here right so even like 900 the slower i think the better because it's more smoother and it gives you really something that looks good so like how to set up really it's that simple it's just to make it as a transition although there's some other advanced you're gonna be able to do but for the basic stuff man like it's just this you know that's it you're just gonna keep adding your scenes as you wish you can add as many uh sorry not your scenes but your sources as many sources as you want and you can transition from any uh anything that you want like you know from camera one to camera five and to screen sharing to whatever and as you can see the animation is on point okay so this is how you set it up guys again it's called move transition uh plugin if you have questions let me know down below please try it and let me know but if you want to know how to actually bring in all these guests and set up all the screen share or capture share stuff like how i set up this basic uh scenes and you want to know how to do that in obs i have another video showing you step by step how to do exactly that so make sure to check out that video it's gonna be linked right here and i'll see you there guys take care